Are you tired of feeling like an outsider in social situations? Do you struggle to make meaningful connections with others? I understand all too well the struggles of shyness and self-doubt. But I found a way to break through those barriers and improve my communication skills, and I want to share that journey with you. I discovered the book How to Talk to Anyone Anytime by Lyle Lowndes, and it was a game-changer for me. This book not only taught me how to use body language and non-verbal cues to my advantage, but also how to start conversations with ease and actively listen and understand others. And the best part? These are all skills that can be learned and practiced. But it's not just about improving your relationships, effective communication can help you in every aspect of your life, from your career to your personal life. It can open doors for you that you never thought possible, and that's why I am so excited to share this journey with you. This is the power of effective communication, and it's within your reach. 1. The importance of body language and nonverbal cues in communication, our bodies speak louder than words, and a simple shift in posture or gesture can convey confidence, interest, or even disinterest. When communicating, it's essential to be aware of your nonverbal cues, as they can greatly impact how you come across to others. For example, maintaining strong eye contact shows that you are engaged in the conversation and interested in what the other person has to say, while fidgeting or crossing your arms can convey discomfort or defensiveness. Additionally, mirroring the other person's body language can help establish rapport and make them feel more comfortable. It's important to pay attention to your posture, facial expressions, and gestures, as they can communicate a lot about what you're thinking and feeling. Furthermore, being aware of your body language will help you to appear more confident and assertive, which is particularly important in professional or formal settings. Furthermore, by understanding the power of body language, you can read the unspoken signals of the people you interact with and react accordingly. This can help you adjust your own behavior to build rapport and establish trust. 2. The power of active listening. Listening is not just about hearing the words being spoken, it's about truly understanding the other person's perspective. Active listening requires paying attention to verbal and nonverbal cues, and making an effort to understand the message being conveyed. For instance, if someone is telling you about a problem they're facing, Instead of just giving advice, try to understand their emotions and perspective. This will not only help to build deeper connections but also show that you care. It's crucial to listen actively, not just passively and this can be achieved by paraphrasing what you heard and asking follow-up questions, this will show the other person that you are truly interested in what they have to say. Additionally, Active listening also involves paying attention to nonverbal cues such as tone of voice, facial expressions and body language, which can provide valuable information about the other person's thoughts and feelings. Furthermore, active listening can also help you understand the context and the underlying meaning of the conversation, which can be particularly important in professional settings. 3. The use of icebreakers to start conversations Starting a conversation with someone new can be nerve-wracking, but with the right icebreakers, it can be a breeze. An icebreaker is a conversation starter that is designed to put the other person at ease and open up conversation. For example, if you're at a networking event, you could say something like what brings you to this event today? Or what do you do for work? These are simple, yet effective icebreakers that can help to break the ice and start a conversation. Additionally, you could also use humor as an icebreaker, a well-timed joke can be a great way to lighten the mood and make the other person feel more relaxed. Furthermore, using an icebreaker can also make you appear more confident and assertive, which can be particularly important in professional or formal settings. Furthermore, Using icebreakers can also help you to identify common interests and establish a foundation for a deeper conversation. 4. The importance of mirroring the other person's body language, 
Mirroring is the act of mimicking the other person's body language, and it's a powerful tool in building rapport. By mirroring someone's body language, you're subconsciously telling them that you're in sync with them, and that can make them feel more comfortable and open to conversation. For example, if someone is leaning forward in their seat, you could lean forward slightly in yours. Additionally, you could also mirror their speaking pace and volume, this can help create a sense of comfort and understanding between the two of you. Furthermore, mirroring can also make you appear more likable and trustworthy, which can be particularly important in building relationships. Furthermore, mirroring can also help to establish a sense of connection and understanding between the two of you, making it easier to communicate and collaborate effectively. 5. The value of asking open-ended questions. Asking open-ended questions can help to encourage the other person to share more about themselves and can help build deeper connections. These types of questions are not answerable with a simple yes or no, they require more elaboration and thought. For instance, instead of asking how was your weekend, you could ask what did you do during the weekend? This will give them an opportunity to share more about their weekend and provide more insight into their life. By asking open-ended questions, you're showing that you are genuinely interested in getting to know the other person and that can help build deeper connections. Additionally, open-ended questions can also be used to gather more information, to understand the other person's perspective or to explore different options and possibilities. 6. The use of storytelling to connect with others, we all love a good story, and sharing personal anecdotes and stories can be an effective way to connect with others and build trust. By sharing something about yourself, you are opening up and showing vulnerability, and that can help the other person feel more comfortable in sharing their own stories and experiences. For example, if you're trying to build a connection with someone in a business setting, you could share a personal story about a time when you had to overcome a similar challenge in your own career. Furthermore, storytelling can also help to create a sense of connection, to convey important information or to persuade or influence others. 7. The importance of maintaining eye contact. Eye contact is a powerful tool in communication and can help to establish trust and build deeper connections. When someone is maintaining eye contact with you, it shows that they are engaged and interested in the conversation. For instance, if you're in a job interview, maintaining eye contact with the interviewer can show that you're confident and interested in the job. Additionally, maintaining eye contact can also help to convey your confidence, assertiveness, and sincerity, which can be particularly important in professional or formal settings. Additionally, when someone avoids eye contact, it can be interpreted as a sign of dishonesty or lack of confidence, so maintaining eye contact can be a crucial aspect of building trust and establishing credibility. 8. The value of smiling. A smile is a universal sign of friendliness and can help put others at ease. When you smile, you're showing that you're approachable and open to conversation. For example, if you're in a customer service role, smiling can help to put customers at ease and make them feel more comfortable approaching you. Furthermore, smiling can also help to convey a positive attitude, which can be particularly important in professional or formal settings. Additionally, smiling can also help to reduce stress and tension, making it easier to communicate and collaborate effectively. 9. The importance of effective language, the words we use can have a significant impact on how we communicate and how we are perceived by others. For example, using formal language can convey professionalism and authority, while using colloquial language can convey a more relaxed and casual tone. Additionally, it's important to choose the right words to convey your message effectively and to avoid using jargon or technical terms that might be confusing to others. Furthermore, effective language can also help to persuade or influence others, to convey important information or to build rapport and establish connections. 10. 
the value of adapting your communication style, being able to adapt your communication style to the situation and the person you are communicating with is crucial for effective communication. For example, in a professional setting, a more formal and direct communication style may be appropriate, while in a casual setting, a more relaxed and friendly style may be more appropriate. Additionally, adapting your communication style to the person you are communicating with can also be important. For example, if you're communicating with someone who has a different cultural background, it may be important to take into account any cultural differences in communication styles. By being able to adapt your communication style, you can ensure that your message is being received effectively and that you are building deeper connections with the people you interact with. Thank you for watching our video on how to talk to anyone anytime by Lyle Lowndes. We hope that you found the information shared in the video to be helpful and that you feel more confident in your ability to communicate effectively with others. Remember, the strategies and techniques outlined in the book can be applied to a variety of situations and can help you build deeper connections and improve your relationships. How to Talk to Anyone Anytime is a valuable resource for anyone looking to improve their communication skills, so if you're ready to take your communication to the next level, give this book a read. We hope you found this video to be helpful and we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Thanks for watching.